What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. And today's episode we're going to be talking about Bronny James and his, you know, two different careers he is in right now, basketball and esports or video games. We're just going to be talking a little bit of that, diving into that, um, talking about if there's going to be some news coming out, different things like that. But before we get into the video, I just want to quickly say, if you're a fan of basketball, whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the conversation. We love interacting with you guys in the comments. Uh, make sure you hit the like button on this video, you know, share it with your friends, and let's get right in the video. So as most of you guys uh, should know watching um, or after clicking on this video, should know who Brownie James is. Um, if you don't, for some reason though, Brownie James is currently a 6'3", 190-pound combo guard, the son of LeBron James. Uh, he's in the class of 2023. Uh, he's a four-star recruit. Uh, he's ranked uh, currently 29th in the nation according to 24-7 Sports. He's talking to schools like Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, uh, North Carolina, and many other of the top you know, basketball programs in the country. So as you can tell, uh, Bronny, is, Bronny James is a very you know, highly recruited, highly touted basketball player um, out of the class of 2023 and in high school basketball in general. Uh, being the son of LeBron James, you're going to have a lot of media, a lot of you know, attention around you and your basketball game. And so far, Bronny has not disappointed, you know, with his basketball game. You know, he's continuing to grow, continuing to get better, and, you know, improve his game. And, uh, you know, bring some highlights on the court and, you know, fill up, fill up gyms and have a lot of people, you know, come to watch him. But one thing that's always been in question is, you know, kind of not in question, but uh, talked about in regards to his basketball career is his current love for video games or esports. Uh, recently he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated and believe it or not he was not on the cover for basketball, the sport that you think that he would be on there for. Uh, he was on the cover for the sport of esports. He was on the cover you know, along with other, um, other members of this clan and that was FaZe Clan. Um, you know, so it's it's very interesting that his first appearance on Sports Illustrated was, uh, you know, for esports and not for basketball. And I think that you know kind of shocked the world a little bit, shocked a lot of people in that sense, and that brought up a lot of questions I've hear, heard a lot of people asking, uh, and you know, kind of wondering. I want to give my thoughts about my opinions about it, and you know, that question is: Does Bronny James, you know, really love basketball? You know, is esports or video games his true love? Uh, is he gonna decide all of a sudden to play esports or you know become a streamer or do something like that instead of basketball? You know, is there too much pressure on him because he's LeBron James' uh, son? You know, for him to be good at basketball and you know produce on the basketball court? I've heard all sorts of these questions, seen these questions everywhere. Uh, I wanted to give my opinions on it and talk about you know if I think that we're ever gonna see uh, Bronny James quitting basketball to become a streamer, become a professional video game player. Uh, you know, esports player, whatever you want to call it. I just want to give my thoughts on that and talk about that situation. So first off, I'll start off by saying uh, I don't think that we're going to see Bronny James, you know, quit basketball in order to become a streamer, a professional gamer, uh, whatever you want to call it, an esports player, you know, anything like that. I don't, I don't see Bronny, you know, quitting basketball to do that. And really, there's you know one main reason why I don't think we'll see that, and that is because. You know, Bronny James can be a successful basketball player, um, have a great career in basketball, make it to the NBA, do everything like that that he wants to accomplish with uh, basketball, while also being a streamer, being a, a professional video game player if that's what he wants to be, or just someone that loves video games. Um, really, to me, I don't think his love for video games or his passion for video games is any different uh, than anybody else's hobbies outside of their main sport or main career choice um, I think if you look at other players in the NBA I mean lots of them are, are you know avid golfers uh, some of them are you know creating music trying to become rappers uh, doing other things off the basketball court and you know at a high level that they want to uh, be you know talked about for or compensated for and I don't see any difference in you know Bronny James deciding to do that I um, 
like I said, I think that this is just another thing that you know he likes to do in his free time, likes to do outside of the basketball court, off the basketball court. And I, you know, honestly, I see no problem with that. So that's what, you know, some people are asking, you know, is there a problem with Bronny uh, putting so much time into esports or video games um, instead of basketball? Uh, really, I don't see any issue with this or think anybody should see any issue with his love for video games. Uh, when talking about, you know, if LeBron is aware how much, you know, commitment Bronny has put into gaming, uh, FaZe Banks, the founder of FaZe Clan, had an encounter with LeBron. And he said if there's any question as to whether LeBron is aware of how much time his son invests in video games, uh, Banks says he dapped up the world's worldwide megastar when he bumped into him on a night out in LA earlier this year. Uh, LeBron also posted on Instagram reacting to the cover of, uh, of Bronny in the phase group and he says, tough, keep leading your generation, generation to new heights, young king. You know, add Bronny, at phase clan. So um, I really don't think you know LeBron has any issue with this and if you know if LeBron his dad doesn't have any issue with him uh, playing video games in his spare time I don't think anyone else should so overall you know our, our video games gonna get in the way of you know Bronny's career career in basketball gonna affect his his game you know more than it should you know, I don't really think so I think obviously he's been trying he's been finding a balance between you know working out working on his game but also playing video games, trying to play video games at a high level, have fun with his friends, you know, playing video games, streaming, you know, joining FaZe Clan. I don't, I don't think there's any issue with this as long as obviously you find that balance. Uh, players, especially, you know, kids like this that are always in the media, uh, supposed to be focused on a sport. They need something outside of basketball to take their mind off basketball a little bit and let them, you know, feel like a normal person, I guess. And for Bronny, that just happens to be video games. And like I said, I don't think this is going to affect him at all. His career uh, in, in basketball is going to be just fine. Video games is not going to get in the way. I think he, you know, loves basketball just as much as any other kid, and uh, will continue to do, you know, big things on the basketball court, and you know, continue to impress people, you know, in the gym and on the basketball court. So I just want to hear from you guys. Uh, put all your comments, all your thoughts, in the, you know, in the comment section down below. I want to hear, you know, your guys' thoughts on all this. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. You know, hit the subscribe button. Leave in the comment section any other videos you want to see us make. Uh, and that's you know that's about it. So we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Before we get into this video, I just want to say if you're a fan of basketball, whether it be high school or college.